Now, Granny's Abner, I believe that's our ring. Hi, dog Islam, I believe you're right. I'll see. Hello, jot him down, store. This is Islam and Abner. <laughs> Let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Well, great excitement reigns in Pine Ridge tonight as all its citizens and neighbors are gathering at the schoolhouse for the premiere of Lum and Abner's new motion picture. Greatest thrill for the home folks is the arrival in town of several picture stars to pay tribute to Bashful Bachelor. As you look in on the little community today, it's late evening and a great crowd is gathered at the front of the schoolhouse. Uh, standing back in the shadows is the cinema star, Lum Edwards. Mousy Gray is approaching. Listen. Well, hello, Lum. What are you doing standing here in the dark? You're not so loud, Mousy. I don't want nobody to see me yet. I want to be the last one on the program so as I can give my speech. Uh oh, ain't that Donna Meet you heading over this way? Oh, yes, sir. Gee, can I stay and meet him? No, Mousy. He more than likely wants to get some pointers on acting from me, and he won't want nobody listening. Besides, you're supposed to be on air raid duty tonight. Yes, sir. Run along. Well, what are you standing back here for, Grandpa? Grandpa? Haven't you got a ticket for the show, old-timer? Wait a minute, Mr. Meachie. I don't believe you recognize me. I'm Mr. Eddards. Who? Mr. Eddards. Star of the picture they're premiering tonight. Lum Eddards. Oh, oh, Lum Eddards. Why, sure. Oh, I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Eddards. It's so dark over here, I couldn't see you. Oh, that's all right. Don't apologize. Hello, Mr. Meachie. Now, see, I told you to go away. I'm Llewellyn Snavely Gray, Mr. Meachie. Well, I'm glad to know you, Llewellyn Snavely. Now, see, I told you to get to your airplane watching post. We don't want to be caught napping on an important night like this. Now, hurry up. Yes, sir. Well, goodbye, Mr. Meachie. Goodbye, Mousy or Snavely or whatever it is. What is he, your air raid warden, Mr. Edwards? Oh, no, no, I'm the warden here. Just put him in charge for tonight. Now, about them pointers on acting, Mr. Me or Don. Pointers on acting? Yeah. Well, I, I'm sorry, I don't think I'll have time to give you any, Mr. Edwards, but uh, I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. You'll get the hang of it after a while. Oh, no, no, I mean, I'll give you a few pointers. Give you the benefit of my abilities and experience. Now, I've been watching your progress, Don, and I suggest that you put a little more fire into your work. Yeah, well, that's uh, already been suggested. And so is putting more of my work into the fire. Yeah, and... Uh, oh, you're, you're just... <laughs> well, anyways, Don, I believe you ought to use more gestures. Now, you'll notice tonight when I'm giving my speech how... Speech? Can... Are you giving a speech? Why, sure. Just a short one. Won't run but an hour or so. Awful interesting, though. All about the uh, moving picture industry. Oh, you know? so you're the one, huh? Uh, uh, what'd you say? Uh, nothing, nothing, um... Uh, look, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. I got a couple of things I've got to attend to before the premiere gets underway. Well, wait, I, I, I'm going to tell you how to use gesture. Yeah, well, I'll get that in the next lesson. Uh, uh, what was that, uh, air raid kid's name? Uh, Mousy Gray. But listen, Don, in my speech tonight, I use gestures to Wonderful show... Wonderful world! Uh, oh, wonderful world. Right, I don't believe he can stand criticism. You ought to get over that if he expects to get in here. Hey, Lom, 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 it's me, Abner. Uh, oh, hello, Abner. Yeah, come on, Lom, you better get over near the door. They're getting ready to go on air. They, they got that radio thing hooked up some way with the station over at Hot Springs. I know that, but I'm waiting here so as I can be last. Then everybody will be through gawking at Gail Patrick and Louise Curry and Donna Michi and all them other stars. Then they can concentrate on my speech. Yeah, well, don't wait too long, Lom. That Don Winslow said he's all ready to start the broadcasting stuff. Don Winslow? Yeah. That's Don Wilson. He's oh. a big announcer, fella. Yeah, well, well, he's big, all right. Anybody can see that. Uh, look there, he, he's signaling for everybody to quiet down on. Yeah, well, where about Cedric at? He's supposed to be watching them big lights over there. Oh, no telling where he's at. He's went hog wild, got that striped zoot suit on, and he showed me he had that bird whistle with him, you know, the one he imitates meadowlarks and stuff with. Well, what in the world's he got that for? Oh, he said they might want him to entertain tonight. Uh, look, look, there's that Don Winslow getting ready to start there. He's talking into the microphone right now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Don Wilson bringing you a word picture of the premiere of Bashful Bachelor, RKO's new picture. RKO? I thought it was R. Starring Lum and Abner with... Zazu Pitts and Louise Curry. Well, we're broadcasting direct from the lobby. <laughs> that is the front yard of the schoolhouse here in Pine Ridge, Arkansas. And this quaint, picturesque little village is the home of not only the famed Jot'em Down store, but also those lovable old characters who have now become motion picture personalities. That's us, Abner. Squire Skimp and Cedric Weehunt. Oh. All Pine Ridge is here tonight, gaily decked out in its fanciest clothes, arriving in a steady stream of wagons and buggies to honor its native sons, Lum and Abner. 
Among the throng gathered here to witness the opening of Bashful Bachelor are several stars who have come all the way from Hollywood to join in this salute. There's uh, Don Amici and Gail Patrick and uh, Louise Perrydall and a great many, many others. And while we're waiting for them to arrive, I'd just like to mention that we have received telegrams from various celebrities, uh, Loretta Young and Zazu Pitts, Andy Devine, Robert Young, and they all send their regrets that they're not going to be able to be with us tonight as they had originally planned, and they all send their best wishes for a successful premiere. Now, uh, let's go over here and see who we can pick up on our portable microphone. Yeah, look, old Squire Skimp edging his way right up there to the front. Yeah, look at that stovepipe hand. Bound you, that thing's a thousand year old. Well, we're at luck, ladies and gentlemen. Approaching the microphone is none other than Squire Skimp, who has the honor of playing himself in the picture Bashful Bachelor. Well, good evening, Squire. Yes, good evening, Mr. Wilson. Well, Squire, now I wonder if we could coax you to say just a few words. Well, well no, no, I'm afraid that words fail me on this momentous and auspicious occasion of my personal triumph. However, if you insist, I would like to say that as I stand here tonight, a luminary of the silver scheme, I reached a goal I set for myself when I was a mere lad, traveling from town to town, from hamlet to hamlet, as a member of the Sneed and Reedy Chautauqua circuit. Well, that's fine, Squire, fine. Thank Little you, did I realize that the early training I received with Sneed and Reedy would someday bring me... Thank you, Squire, thank you. Sorry, old man, but we must get this thing along. Oh, yes, yes. Well, uh, here, I wish you'd hand out a few of my cars, Mr. Wilson. And by the way, if you need any insurance now... Oh, yes, yes, certainly. Well, hell, goodbye, Squire. Now, uh, oh, uh, just a minute. The car's just driven up, ladies and gentlemen. Perhaps it's Miss Patrick or Don Amici. I can't see who's getting out of the car because it's so prof profusely decorated, you know. I, I believe, oh, no, no, it must Wonderful. be. Wonderful world. Well, it's Cedric Weehut. Good evening, Cedric. Have you got anything to say about the picture, Bashful Bachelor? Yes, Mom. Uh, let's see. Uh, hello. Oh. <laughs> now, that's a good, safe comment. Thank you very much, Cedric. And uh, I'll also do bird imitations. Metapark. <laughs> Whipper will. Well, that's marvelous, Cedric. Thank you, thank you. Uh, no, that now, was wrong. This is the Meadowlark. And, and here's the Whipper will. Well, I see. That's fine. Now, you can run along, Cedric. And here, here, here's yeah. a pop of Whipper will. Cedric, please, please. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have. Well, let's see, there must be. Well, if you want Miss Louise, she's in my car there. She got tangled up in the decorations. <laughs> well, for goodness sake, why did you say so? Louise! Louise, please come over here. Well, I'm trying to, but I've got to find my way out of these dreamers first. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the lovely young feminine star of Bashful Bachelor. Yeah, look here, Lama. There's Louise Curry. Let's go over and talk to her. No, I'm staying here till I can be last. I want to get all the attention my speech deserves. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Louise Curry. Well, hello, Louise. Hello, Don. Are you pretty excited about this premiere tonight, Louise? Oh, you bet I am. And I have a hunch that maybe the picture might be a success because... Well, it's so much fun making a picture with Lum and Abner that it can't help being successful. Well, with you in it, Louise, I'm sure it will be. Uh, how was your plane trip over from Hollywood? A little rough? Yes, but compared to that ride with Cedric, it was like sitting in the old family rocker. He drove with one hand and played bird calls with the other. Well, hello, Louise. You recollect me? Why, Abner, you old dear. <laughs> Gee, it's good to see you again. Where's Lum? Oh, he's hiding over there waiting to make a speech. Uh, come on inside, Louise, and I'll get a good chair for you. We can visit, too. Oh, that's swell, Abner. Yeah, I want you to meet my warmer and Elizabeth and little Pearl. She'll just be tickled to death meeting up with you. <laughs> well, so will I. As a matter of fact, I brought Pearl a present. Hey, hey, come back here. Did you show her now? Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was Louise Curry. Now, oh, oh, just a minute. Here comes another car. Oh, no, no. Just Cedric's car again. I don't think we want to interview him once more, but... Oh, wait a minute. I think there is somebody with him. It looks like... Yes, yes, I believe it is. Wonderful world, Mr. Wilson. Yes, it's Gail Patrick, ladies and gentlemen. One of Hollywood's most beautiful and talented actresses. Well, we're, we're mighty proud indeed to welcome Miss Patrick to Pine Ridge and to the premiere of Bashful Bachelor. Will you just say a few words to our radio audience, please, Gail? Yes, Mom. Hello, everyone. I'm looking forward to seeing Lum and Abner's new picture, Bashful Bachelor. I know they'll both be swell in it. Well, are you enjoying your visit here, Gail? Oh, I'm having a wonderful time. Pine Ridge is really a unique place. I've never seen anything quite like it, and I've never met such interesting people. Well, sounds as though you've been getting around quite a bit, Gail. Oh, I have. I've had the merchant's lunch at Luke Spears' restaurant, played the <laughs> pinball machine, and lost. <laughs> Read the police gazette at Moe's Moot's Barbershop and pitched horseshoes at Caleb Weehunt's blacksmith shop. <laughs> A place like this is really an education, Don. As a matter of fact, I've already picked up a very valuable bit of information. You have? Well, Gail, what is it? Well, just listen to this. This is a meadowlark. And this is a whippoorwill. <laughs> well, that's wonderful, Gail. Wonderful. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, we got here the Baltimore Orioles. <laughs> well, that's all very fine, but 
Let's not get started on that again. Uh, just a minute, friends. Here comes Don Amici. Oh, and here's the Blue Jay. Well, thank you, thank you, Gail Patrick. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think I need to say any more than just... Well, here's Don Amici. Thank you, Don Wilson. Hello, everyone. I'm not going to take up any of your time because I'm anxious to go inside and see Lemon Abner's picture. I've heard that it's really swell. Come on, Don, sign this thing off, and let's go in and start the picture. Huh? No, I can't, Don. I've got to wait for Lum Edwards, and you know he's all set to make a speech that runs on for hours. Yeah, well, don't worry. I think I'm taking care of that. No, you haven't. No, here he comes. Uh, howdy, Mr. Wilson. I reckon you're all ready for me now. Uh, here's an introduction for you to read. I got it all wrote out for you. Introduction? You mean all these three pages? Well, that's all I could think of about myself. I cover the rest of it in my speech. Go ahead and read it. <clears throat> well, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, I take great pleasure in presenting a man who... Oh, my God. Here. All the lights are out. Oh, my goodness. Must be a blackout. I gotta find Mousy Gray. Hey, Mousy! Mousy! Well, this is a fine state of affairs. We would have to get caught in one of these. Take it easy. Take it easy, Don, old man. There's no blackout. That was just something I framed up with Mousy Gray. Told him to turn off all the lights to keep Edwards from blowing off steam for a couple of hours. Come on, let's go inside and start the picture. The current will be back on in just a few minutes. <laughs> 